Ted Budd has led a charmed political life. He has defeated fellow Republicans with far greater resumes than his to get where he's at today. And now he's one election away from gaining a seat in the U.S. Senate. Then how about crime? Bud tells supporters about crime and illegal immigration during his campaign stops, such as this one in Greensboro. But his top message is about the economy and how Republicans like him can turn things around. We can get back to the lowest unemployment in recorded history for women, for people of color, for Hispanics. Mr. Bud did not grant WXII 12 News a sit-down interview. But he did give us a few minutes during a campaign stop where, despite the polls, he claims voters are with him. The issues are on our side, and now we have to just tell folks. Uh, I mean, people are concerned about inflation. They're concerned about crime. They're concerned about parents having educational freedoms and having control of their kids' education. I think that's what people want now. And so when we talk about those issues, again, the polling tilts in our favor, and that's what we're going to be talking about. You left out abortion, as you know, is a very big issue right now. And I'm wondering, is that going to affect this race in a detrimental way for you? Well, when you look at what the Democrats actually believe and we talk about that, we win because you see how out of step they are with North Carolinians. What they want is abortion at any time for any reason, and they want it at taxpayer expense. And that's wildly out of step with the rest of the world and is out of step with America, is out of step with North Carolinians. Do you favor an all right, all out nationwide ban on abortion? Well, look, what, what this is is a win for the 10th Amendment. This sends it from nine people in 1973 making a decision for everyone. Now it comes to various state legislatures and they get to make that decision. Would you rather have federal take care of this or, or the states? Look, I think the closer to home you can make any legislation, the better. Bud co-sponsored legislation calling for a nationwide ban on abortion at 15 weeks. The great Ted Bud. Bud's Senate run began with a surprise endorsement from former President Trump. It's something he reminds supporters about during campaign stops. Surprise endorsement, he looked at me, he said, Ted, I'm endorsing you because you never wavered on America First policies. Bud displayed his loyalty to Trump in an interview with WXII 12 News the day after the January 6th assault on the Capitol. Congressman, as someone who supported the president's claims of a stolen election, do you feel that uh, you're responsible in any way for what happened yesterday? You know, this was not about overturning an election. This was uh, a right that we had to express millions of Americans who were concerned about particularly six particular states uh, that had very questionable results. And we wanted to air those grievances. Bud voted against certifying the 2020 presidential election. A spokesman for the Bud campaign recently declined to say if the candidate would accept the results of the upcoming election. Mr. Bud later said he would. You announced this week that you are going to accept the results of this election. Why did you make that announcement? Well, look, I mean, I, the question is, why, why wouldn't I? I remember, that was my, my original statement, but of course I would. Ted Bud hopes to replace the retiring Richard Burr and join Tom Tillis in the U.S. Senate. He offers North Carolina voters a more conservative voice than either Tillis or Burr. A report card from Heritage Action, a conservative group, rates Bud far more to the right the North Carolina's current Republican senators. Let's go win this thing in 19 days. Recent history is on Ted Budd's side. North Carolina Democrats haven't won a Senate seat since 2008 when Kay Hagan won. But GOP leaders tell their supporters it's going to come down to one thing. Turnout. Whose side is going to be more fired up to get out and vote? Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.